The history of Burkina Faso, including Yamiogo, Lamizana, and Sankara from 1932 to 1987. In 1932, the French divided the colony into Mali, Niger, and Ivory Coast, but by 1947, they had reunited the colony. However, by then there was a growing anti-colonial movement. The movement was led by the African Democratic Assembly, RDA, and the Baltic Union, UDV. Maurice Yamiogo united the two parties in 1958. The Unified Party won 64 of 75 seats in the election of 1959. Maurice Yamiogo became president of the Upper Volta a year after the election and won re-election in 1965. In 1966, Yamiogo was forced out and succeeded by Lieutenant Colonel Sanguli Lamizana. Yamiogo was imprisoned for embezzlement while the military government installed a civilian cabinet. When the military agreed to a return to civilian rule in 1978, the old RDA-UDV won a majority of the seats in the legislature. Lamizana won the presidential election the following year, but was toppled by Colonel Colonel Saya Zebo in 1980. Under his leadership, the cabinet was composed of both military and civilian officials. In 1982, a coup led by lower-ranking army officials Jean-Baptiste Guadrogo, a medical doctor, and Captain Thomas Sankara took over power. Sankara eventually became the leader in 1983. He installed a National Revolutionary Council, CNR. He also created committees for the defense of the revolution, CDRs, which took over the function of town councils and traditional chiefs. The committees were tasked with leading trials for former government officials who were deemed to be corrupt. It was Sankara who changed the name of the country from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, the land of incorruptible men. During his tenure, he released most political prisoners, but curbed the power of the unions. He was eventually assassinated by Captain Blaise Campare, his lieutenant.